This is Young Trader and TGIF. Wow, another really good week of, uh, of scalping here. Uh, the crude oil here, the uh, natural gas on the short side. Not much on the long side, but uh, technology has been really, really running. I use that TQQQ. Uh, really, really good trade. Now, just a heads up here. Uh, the weekend edition here is going to be anything about big oil stocks. So we're going to review uh, Exxon and Chevron, ConocoPhillips and EGO Resources and Schlumberger and Phillips 66, Marathon. Anything to do with big oil companies is what it could be our weekend edition. All right, right now what we have to do is we have to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell the stock, not the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have your crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Let me just bigger up a little bit here. Okay. So, quick review here, uh, we had three red candles, and then we had a bottoming tail uh, candle here, basically also an indecision. However, that uh, decision was made when you made a higher high, okay? So, I pointed out here as a possible bear flag, because it went into the 21-day, and it was lower than what this candle was here, sitting at 74.52, uh, just like we had here, perfect bear flag situation in the red candle. But this one ripped off. So yesterday, what it is, is once you got above this candle um, at that 74.52, then that uh, bear flag was negated, and obviously we went higher. Now, what do we have to do here today? Well, so far, uh, as long as we hold this top of this, half of this candle, that's usually very, very bullish. Um, and then we have a lot of good resistance here uh, on the upside. So what we want to do is first is look at the top of this candle. You're looking at 76.95. Uh, and then we will look here to 77.34, uh, which is your 50-day. And then we have your 200-day <clears throat> sitting right above at 77.41. Okay, so this is all going to be very, very strong uh, resistance. This will be a uh, secondary resistance here. But this is going to be very, very strong if this rips uh, uh, higher here. Now, again, if we can get above... That's 77.41. Then what we do is we look to the top of this candle. You're looking at uh, uh, 78.14. And then we'll come up to your 100-day at 78.40. And then we have um, uh, top of this candle, uh, 78.26, which is just really below that 100-day. Your big retest there is going to be uh, 79.29 here. So, you know, you have a lot of resistance above, but the key to the, today is going to be three things. It's going to be the top of this candle, that's 76.95. It's going to be the 50 SMA, 77.34, and it's going to be that 200-day at 77.41. That's all going to provide very, very strong uh, resistance. Now, let's just look to the downside. So, so far today's low, you had uh, 75.98, uh, okay, which uh, uh, then... What do we have here? Okay, so you had 75, uh, uh, 85. So that lines up here pretty nice here with the sport. The next level is going to be uh, 75, uh, uh, 52. And then we can come over to uh, what do we have here? You have 75, 16. Uh, and then what we have is your uh, 21 day sitting rate right at 74, 64. That's going to be very strong resistance. And then right below, we have your 8 SMA at 74.39, and then we have your 50-day your at 73.39. Uh, now, one thing I do want to point out is this support right here, this 8 SMA, 73.97. Very, very key uh, to be good. Remember, this is a weekly chart, so we want to make sure that Friday that it closes back above, and then we'd have a, like a nice bullish stance if we can close above that 73.98. Uh, so, these are the key levels here that you uh, actually want to watch here. So really that 8 SMA comes right below <clears throat> what we have here for this 8, uh, 8 SMA here. And then we have your 50 uh, sitting here at uh, 73.39. Uh, uh, this is looking very, very bullish. When we look on your MACD here now, it looks like you were going to get yourself a, uh, a bullish cross here with your green above your red. So that gives you a good chance of this here uh, uh, wrapping off higher. And then your RSI is looking... Uh, well, you know, that can plenty of room to run here on the upside. And then this is the the uh, the uh, MACD I've been watching. You're getting close. They're, they're touching here. They're kissing up here pretty good. But they haven't crossed there yet here on your uh, uh, weekly chart. 
Um, but again, so just quick review. What we want to do here is watch the top of this candle. You're looking at that 76.95 on the upside. This is critical, 77.34, and then your obviously your uh, 77.41, uh, very very crucial uh, uh, level. If you can get above all that, then what we'll do is we'll take the top of this candle, 78.14. You have uh, 78.26, uh, uh, and then right above it is we have this 21 day. Now this is going to be very very strong. So you always want to watch that 21 day because look what happened last time when it went right on into it. And then you have your 78.40 and then your retest uh, 79.29 here. But again, just watch that 21 day if it does rip because you need to get above it. But you see how that 21 day is rolling over here now. So you got a lot of big time resistance with that 50 day, your 200 day, your 21 day, and your 100 day, and then your retest. A lot of good resistance on the downside. Watch very, very key levels is going to be that 7464. And then we're going to have right below it is you got that 7398. And then we have uh, you have 7440. And then we have this 50 SMA here, which is leveling off very nice. Now, your eight day is still rolled over here. Okay. So, but your 21 day is crossing above here. So that's going to give it nice support here. But just in the interim, realistically, when you see a big green candle like this, you want to hold half that candle, okay? So that would basically be, if you can hold that level there at 75.52, that would be also be very bullish. It doesn't have to come all the way down. So always watch the candles, go to the left of your chart to see what we have here. So right now, this is looking very, very bullish. The key is, is there's so much resistance here on that upside. So we got to see if it's going to go higher. Now, again, seasonality here. Well, you know, we're looking pretty good here for seasonality here because spring is right, just right around the corner. Uh, so once we start that that, that, that uh, mid-February here, this should rip up here very, very nicely here going into that summer driving, that Memorial Day, that 4th of July, you know, Labor Day, and then hurricane season uh, all the way on up. Okay, let's take a look here out at natural gas. All right, here we have natural gas, your hourly, and your four-hour chart. Now, we can just quick review here. This was that contract roll here last week. Look what happened here. Boy, just right off the map here. Look at that series of lower highs, lower lows, just not good. And then you put in a new lower low here at 1.817. Uh, uh, okay, so realistically, this was really a good trade this week here. Uh, I had to add up all the points that I got on, on KOLD. Got a lot of good stuff here on the short side here. Now, on the, on the long side, uh, nothing. I just don't see any sense of taking a long thing. The risk is, to the reward is just not there. You're better off just trying to scale up the short until you can find some kind of a bottom here. So basically what you want to watch now is this 1.81, okay? That 1.94, that's long lost. So this is what we're looking at, 1.81. Now, when we look at your four-hour chart, well, it's, it's the same pattern, just right off the cliff. You really need to, you, you, you have to really get, if you have any kind of momentum, you really just have to even get above that 2.10 uh, before you even get to the 2.16. So this has a lot of weight, but look at those SMA, see? Just rolling right on over. They're just nothing here. Maybe a possible scalp. I'll check it out here. Maybe on the UNG, there might be a little scalp here today, but we got to just see how this all going to shake out. So let's take like a little bigger view here. Let's take a daily, a weekly, and a monthly. Okay, here we have your daily, your weekly, and your monthly. Now you can see how this is just rolled over. Now, I've always pointed out this 8 SMA. See this? You really, the price has to get back above that 8 SMA. But as it keeps falling down, that price is going to, the 8 SMA is going to keep on coming down. But once you can get above, then we can just follow the candles all the way on up here. So basically, you got... Uh, uh, 1.88, you have uh, 1.99, and then we have your 8 SMA here sitting at 2.0. Once you can get above that, then you can just kind of, you have 2.04 here, um, you have 2.10, but this is the key uh, right here is 2.16. So what you really want to watch on the upside is the 8 SMA, and we want to watch this key level here at 2.16. If you can get above that, then we'll just follow the candles, okay, all the way on up. So you have your 2.23, 2.27, 2.29, uh, 
uh, 2.31, and then you have 2.32. This is the gap fill right here at that 2.42. Uh, 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 there is resistance here, 2.38, 2.40. Uh, but realistically, this is what we're watching, watching right now. You need to close back above this 8 SMA here and then back above that 2.16 here for this to go higher. So if you're a long trader, that's what you want to watch, okay? So when we look at all this chart here, we had that 1.94. That was really your key level that it was holding. Obviously, it went right off the cliff on that here. So now we have to say is where we want, where is it going to go? So what we do is, oh, that's just a little bit too big. Okay, <clears throat> so we lost that price channel. Okay, so we look at that price channel. That's that 1.94. Okay, so you need to get back above that to start. But realistically, this 8 estimate is going to be the very, very key what you need to get back above. So <clears throat> let's see here. So, so, so far, we have low of 1.81. So what we want to do is we just look here to the left of the chart here. Okay, so we'll look at this candle. Okay, that's at 1.85. Well, we're obviously we're below that. Okay, and then the next here level is going to be 1.795. Okay, so if that 1.81 is lost, 1.795, that is going to be your uh, uh, next target. Then what we do, we come over to this candle. You're looking here at 1.64. Uh, uh, we have 1.60 uh, and then 1.52. But realistically here, this is going to be your big target here, if it keeps on selling, is the retest of that 1.4 uh, low. Now, again, if that's lost, well, it's man out the window time. You're going to be headed toward the buck. Okay? So, I mean, that's just uh, reality. Okay? I wish I could tell you something different, but that's it. But, again, you know, for a trader, it makes no difference to me. I don't care long or short. That doesn't make any difference. So I'm just looking for scalps here today. Now, on Friday, I keep it a little bit tighter, especially on natural gas. Uh, because, you know, eh, you know, they're going into a weekend. Got to see how that's all going to kind of shake out. So realistically, upside, watch that key level here, 1.94. That is going to be a key level. And then right here, 2.00 and then 2.16. That is your upside target. On the downside, we just follow the candles down. Okay, so next time, next level is 1.79 here. Um you have uh, uh, 1.64, 1.60, 1.52, and then your big retest. We look at here, your RSI, and two, nothing. We look here, no momentum here at all. Look at this here, just a complete disaster. This is just going rolling right on over here. And this here, it just, it never went up. This is just, just going right on down here. So there's really nothing here to natural gas. Now, that being said here, you know, a lot of times when you have all that negativity, Things can reverse here, but it needs some kind of a catalyst. You're in the shoulder season right now. Where I live, it's very, very warm for this time of the year. Uh, the ski resorts, you know, they're lucky they had that big base of snow here because they're doing okay, but it's not like what they normally have. Normally have. Plus, you know, the, the heating right now is you're going into that shoulder season. So we got to see. So, But again, if you have a very hot summer, okay, natural gas can rip higher, and you can buy this stuff on a very on a cheap here. So... Just be, you know, never have an opinion. Just check it all out here. Just, just you know, just take your time. But right now, the trade is short until it shows me a candle that says different. All right. That's what I got for you on Yo Crude Ski and Natty Gas. I'll be back today after pick close at 2.30. Thanks for watching.